In the dead of night, a passenger train is on a routine journey to Miami, but in the fog ahead lies a silent, invisible danger, turning an ordinary trip into one of the most infamous rail disasters in US history, a very real case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. The 22nd of September 1993, Mobile, Alabama, USA. Amtrak Sunset Limited is making its way from Los Angeles to Miami on a route which takes it through Mobile in Alabama. It is approaching 3 in the morning and in the pitch black darkness a thick fog has set in, making visibility almost zero. A few miles ahead is a bridge which passes over the Big Bayou Canot, a body of water which joins the larger Mobile River. The Sunset Limited is a long distance passenger train service run by Amtrak, the national railroad company of the United States. It operates a route between Los Angeles, California and Miami, Florida and is carrying 220 passengers and crew on board. It is powered by three locomotives, one GE Genesis P40DC number 819 at the front and two older EMD F40PHs numbers 262 and 312 directly behind, pulling eight coaches. They are travelling behind schedule due to an air conditioner and a water closet needing repairs at a previous stop in New Orleans. Travelling up the Mobile River is a towboat named Morvilla, which is pushing barges ahead of it. The captain has swapped with another pilot, who is not as experienced while he gets some rest. The less experienced crew member is in control of the boat. Unbeknownst to them at the time, instead of continuing up the Mobile River, due to the lack of visibility, they accidentally turn off onto the Big Bayou Canard, a smaller river which commercial boats don't use. Due to the poor visibility, the pilot decreases speed to two knots, basically a crawl. He spots something on his radar, but he is unsure what it is and decides to stop to be safe. But as the boat decelerates, they hit something hidden in the fog. The impact is noticeable, but apparently not too bad, at least from their perspective at the moment. Unsure what they've just struck, the captain takes back control and leaves the barges at the riverbank so they can wait for the fog to subside, then inspect whatever it is they've just impacted. What they don't know yet is that they've hit the rail bridge on the river next to the one they still think they are travelling up. Meanwhile, the Sunset Limited passes a light which is lit up green, saying it is okay to proceed. A mile and a half later, as the train is barreling forward at 70 miles per hour, it hits the misaligned tracks on the bridge, sending the lead locomotive careering into the air and plunging into the river below. The following locomotives and coaches jackknife and derail, creating a tangled wreckage of twisted metal. The force of the crash ruptures fuel tanks, igniting a massive blaze engulfing the area. Many passengers are trapped in the submerged cars while others scramble to escape. The fire is not the only danger as the river is home to a number of alligators and snakes. The crew of the Morvilla see a huge orange glow in front of them as the fire pierces its way out from beneath the fog. Once realising a train has derailed and crashed into the water, they, as well as surviving Amtrak crew and dispatchers, call the emergency services. Responders, including local fire departments, police and coast guard units, arrive as quickly as possible. However, navigating the wreckage in the dark, foggy conditions proves incredibly difficult. They have to use floodlights to scan the area for survivors. Nearby residents and first responders work together, including the crew of the Morvilla, using boats to pull survivors from the water. Makeshift medical stations are set up along the shore, where paramedics treat the injured before transporting them to hospital. Despite the valiant rescue efforts, the tragedy unfolded too quickly for many to escape. After the rescue effort, it is found that 47 lives have been lost, mostly due to drowning or smoke inhalation. A further 103 are injured. It is the worst accident in Amtrak's history. 
the National Transportation Safety Board launched an extensive investigation. They discovered that the towboat Morvilla had been operating in extreme fog with no proper navigational charts. The less experienced pilot, not realising he'd gone off course in the fog, had unknowingly struck the bridge, damaging it, leading to the derailment. The towboat's pilot was not properly trained on how to read the boat's radar. Combined with the poor conditions and his unfamiliarity with the area, he didn't realise he'd strayed off course. The boat was also lacking a compass and a chart of the waters. He believed he was still travelling on the Mobile River and had identified the object on the radar as another towboat. But why, at such a slow speed and gentle impact, not even hard enough to knock anything inside the boat over, would it cause the bridge so much damage? It is revealed the bridge had been designed to rotate so it could later be converted into a swing bridge to let passing boats through by making the appropriate modifications at a later date, but no such conversion had ever been done. Nothing too problematic, except for the fact that the bridge had not been adequately secured to the two connecting sections to make it the one solid piece in order to prevent it from pivoting unintentionally. The collision had pushed the unsecured end of the bridge span approximately one metre out of alignment, severely kinking the track, making safe passage over it impossible. But despite this, there should have been a safety measure in place to warn any incoming trains of the danger ahead. Ordinarily, the track being so severely damaged would break the track circuit, causing an approach signal to change from green to red, meaning it is not safe to proceed, which would have prevented the accident. But in the case here, as the bridge pivoted, the rails bent instead of severing. As a result, the track circuit controlling the bridge approach signals remained intact, and the nearest signal continued to display a green light. There was nothing to warn the Sunset Limited engineers of the danger ahead. In the wake of the disaster, regulations on train bridge safety and monitoring are overhauled. Towboat pilot training is improved to ensure they're proficient in the use of radar and other navigational aids, and that boats are fitted with them. Despite the towboat's pilot being found to not be criminally liable for the incident, and rather the conditions, his lack of training and the design of the bridge are blamed, he is so haunted by what happened he never worked in the job again. The bridge would later be rebuilt, but this time as a fixed structure. If the train had not been delayed, they would have passed over the bridge before the boat hit it. The Big Bayou disaster remains a stark reminder of how small errors can lead to catastrophic consequences. Though decades have passed, the tragedy of that foggy September night remains a lesson in the critical need for safety, vigilance and preparedness in both rail and maritime operations. If you enjoyed this mini documentary, give the video a like for the time and effort I put into making it, and subscribe if you don't want to miss future episodes as I upload them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.